Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And uh, in today's video, as you saw in the demo, we are going to design a feature for an e-commerce app. So many times it happens that a product that you're selling on an e-commerce platform is uh, maybe really unique. It's something really premium. And you want to explain that reasons that why this product is premium to your customers as well. Now, uh, there are many ways of doing it. Uh, you can maybe write down in the product section. You can create a new section altogether in your app where you can explain more about the thing. But this one particular way of doing it is very interesting that I really like where you put cues on the image itself. And when the user taps on those uh, cues or dots, whatever it is, uh, they get to know more about or more details about the product. And you can very seamlessly explain users why are you charging or what is the main USP of that product. So today we are going to design that. Let's quickly do that thing in Figma. Let's quickly hop onto Figma and see how we can do that. You guys, now we are in Figma and uh, this is a very basic wireframe that I have created. Let's quickly fill this up. Uh, this is an e-commerce wireframe. I'm trying to make it for like the shoe uh, Air Jordan. I really like them. So let's do with that. So in this wireframe, let me run you through very quickly. Um, I have kept this big place for putting uh, the main hero image. Here I want to put up some more variants of that uh, particular shoe brand. And then there's the name of the brand, uh, the name of the shoe actually. And then you also have the price. You have some explanation about it. And in below you have like a big call out or CTA where you want them to add to bag. So this is the basic structure of uh, the app. Now let's quickly head over to, I'll quickly show you some small tips to build these things really quickly. So let's first quickly hop on to uh, Nike's Air Jordan site and uh, let's see what we can pick it from there. So um, if you see, we have this particular website. Now what we want to do is we just want to copy a few images here from here and we want to uh, create the website. So let me just quickly copy the image from here. And what I also done is I have added these rulers. These rulers you can access in Figma by pressing Shift and R. And it's 24 pixels from left and right so that we have like a very nice guide and we keep every content of it in the center. Now, instead of this rectangle, we want our image. So what I'll do is I'll just remove this thing and paste the image. What you want to do is if you see, it's now adding as a fill thing. So just double click on it. I want the image to be a little bit smaller because there's a lot of white space below. So I'll just come here and change it to crop. And as soon as you do that, you see additional um, options here. So what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, make the image a little bit. Yeah, so I think now it looks perfect. Uh, the image is perfectly fine. Let me also drag a few more elements on top of it. So I have this back button, which I've created. Uh, I'll just quickly drag it here. I also have this like icon, which I want to drag it here. It's a simple icon. You can get it from uh, maybe flat icon or noun project. Just quickly add it here. Um, so our image is fine. Now you also want to add variants, uh, which by which we select and you can see different colors of the same shoe. So what I'm going to do is, uh, but before that, let me just quickly add a title here. I want to call it, let's say Jordan series. So now, yeah, so now this is there. This is, we have ready. Now let's quickly add our image variants. Okay. So just come here and just select any color variant that you have. Uh, just go here and for example, we first selected the black one. So maybe we'll just copy the black image. Come here and I'll paste this one. Now, um, just go like make it smaller. Something like this. Okay. Uh, I also want it to be cropped. So I'll want to crop it to a Mm, square image, something like this. 62. 62. Okay. So I just want it to be like a 62 by 62 image. And I want to resize this in the center. Something like this. Okay. Perfect. So uh, after doing that, I just want to also give some radius. So maybe something around 8 will work. Let me quickly show you a small trick. What I'll do is I'll just 
copy paste it a bunch of times okay now um, this is the first image what we want we want other images as well so let me select this red one first come here copy image from the website and just select this one and just do command V and automatically retain every property that you have already created and just crop it in that aspect ratio so really really nifty and nice you don't have to save image here and there just do command C and paste it here okay so even our variants are ready now uh, our text is there let me also add our CTA button um, this is around 58 I'll add like I'll give it somewhere around 12 radius and I also want it to be dark black so that goes with the Nike Air Jordan theme the entire site is black and white so just let's keep that way and let's add quick text saying okay great I'll just center line these and um, so um, now our app UI is almost ready now what we want to do is we want to place uh, certain strategic uh, points where we want the user to click the image and we will show more details about it okay so what I have done is uh, let me just quickly show you what I've done so I have just uh, downloaded this GIF which looks like this so it's a GIF uh, it will not be playing here because uh, it will only show in the preview mode let me show you how it looks like in the preview mode how the GIFs looks like so it's a GIF that I have just got it's a ripple animation um, I want it to be uh, placed on the shoe so that user can click on it and uh, it will show you more details so this is how it looks like if you place a GIF in the prototyping mode only then you'll be able to see it okay so um, that's how it is now if you see there's one problem it has a white background to it right um, we don't want a white background we just want the ripple okay so to do that many times you get some image from uh, internet but it all doesn't have a transparent in it so what you do is you select your GIF which shows it here come here and now it's the property is given as pass through just come and change it to multiply and as soon as you do that multiply bit um, the white becomes transparent so it's a pretty nice trick actually and uh, this is how it looks like okay so now uh, the background has gone if I show you how it looks like in the prototyping mode see so now you won't be able to see that white background that was earlier there so just come and change it to multiply the background of the GIF as well now I also want a small circle in between so that this ripple animation is perfect Uh, change the color change color to okay, around red and something around this pink maybe yeah okay perfect make it a little bit bigger yeah so just make sure that they look perfectly uh, good together like concentric and then just group them call it ripple effect okay now uh, just put this one and maybe copy paste several other locations let me make it a little bit bigger okay so I think this looks perfect let me just copy it a bunch of other locations this group so I'll probably Put something here where I'm explaining the leather I want to explain the uh, laces I also want to explain the logo maybe you also want to explain this bit not sure though okay Sorry. Something like this. okay so now we have placed uh, our GIF group on different locations of the uh, image let's see how it looks like on the preview okay 
So if you see in the preview, it looks really nice. It just uh, shines uh, different. Uh, it just shows that ripple animation on different areas of the image. Now that will give user a really nice cue to tap on it. Even though I don't want uh, the animation to be this loud, but it's okay for the purpose of this demo. What we want to do is now that once the user click on any of these uh, different dots, you should see the uh, you should see the details of that particular uh, area, the segments. Okay. So to do that, what I've done is I've created a bunch of these, which looks like this. So this circle contains the logo. It says Air Jordan logo, and it explains a little bit about it. It contains this one. The second one is basically says hand stitched, and shows a couple of uh, details about it. Then there's uh, something about premium leather. So this is nothing, just a circle which I have added an image to it, and then there's a bottom a rectangle uh, which I have given some text about. Okay, so you can just do the same thing. Okay, now we uh, now we have our first artboard ready. What we'll do is we'll just duplicate this, and uh, we'll come here on the first image. And guys, I have re renamed my image to hero image because uh, we don't we want every layer to be named uniquely for the smart anime to work properly. In the second one, we are going to call it zoom. The second artboard is zoom, so we'll name it to zoom one. And in this artboard, we are going to zoom at the logo area. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly remove all the circles because we don't need this. Okay, and I'll come on the hero image, double click on it, and it's still in the crop mode. And what I want to do is I want to increase the size of the shoe. And I want it to come in the center like this and here I want to explain about the logo so like this and I'll grab the one that I've already created for the logo the fill I'll come and I'll drop it here something like this okay now let me quickly wire this up it's nothing it's just some text with a rectangle and a circle that contains the uh, logo as well as the background ellipse okay Maybe we can call it logo. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let me just wire these two up. Go in the prototyping bit. And when we click on the dot that is on the logo, we want this to expand. We want to come to this stage. So I'll just drag it here. On click, navigate to zoom one. Instead of instant, we want smart animate so that we'll be able to see that zoom effect. Okay, and I think ease out is perfectly fine. And what we want is when we click on this back, we should be able to go back. And I think everything is same. Smart animate is out. Perfect. Now let's quickly see how it looks like in the prototyping bit. Okay, give it time. Okay, this is how it looks like. Perfect. Now let me just quickly click on this. Perfect. So what is happening as of now is um, when you click on it, it expands and when you click back, it goes back to the previous stage. Perfect. Um, what we want is now from this stage, we also want to duplicate it again. Okay. Uh, remove this back arrow. And from here, we'll just remove all this again. So guys, I'm going to repeat the same process for other areas as well very quickly and then we're gonna tag and then we're gonna uh, wire this up the prototype again and uh, then we'll see how it looks like so in this one I want uh, maybe the leather to expand so what I'll do is I'll just again increase the size something like this okay and here okay here I want to explain about the uh, leather actually so I'll just select this one, this one, and I'll bring it here. Okay, so this will explain about the leather bit. Uh, what I want to do is come here in the prototyping section and then link, sorry, link this to this. Everything remains the same. Let's do this for all the other bits really quickly.
have mapped out the entire artboards and linked them back and together in this. So all the ripples connect to the expanded stages and all the expanded stages close back to the first thing. So let's see how it looks like in the prototyping bit. Let me just click. Let it load. It takes some time to load. Okay, so our ripples are moving right now. So we have linked this one to the leather one. Perfect. I'll click back. I'll go back again. Nice. Perfect. 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 So if you see it uh, very nicely expands and goes back to its position. Now if you see it expands out of nowhere because we have just created the final expanded state. We want it to move with the shoe itself because the shoe we have smart animated. So wherever we are zooming the shoe is moving like this. So what we want to do is we want to do a little bit more. So as this is perfectly fine. But if you want to do a little bit more what we can do as of now is we can uh, just come here like this. Let's copy this first bit for example group 7 and we'll come here and we'll paste it on the screen right here and I'll place it over the uh, area where I'm going to expand it and I'm going to give it a zero pass through so it will not be visible in this screen but it will be visible in this screen but what will happen is it will also move with the image so it will give us a very nice effect let me just quickly show you what I mean if I just show you the prototype so smart animate will also move it but it's hidden in the first bit but it will also be visible in the second one but it will appear like it's also moving with the image so if I show you see so it's not like appearing out of nowhere it's moving with the image and showing up so we can do that same bit with others as well just copy those bits very quickly to just copy place it on the dot itself and since the name is same auto animate will do its work come here and give it a zero pass through perfect so let's just finally review how it looks like okay this is our image uh, loading GIF says loaded now perfect if I click very nice very nice very nice so if you see it looks like those expanded set also moving with the images so I think guys that's it then there you have it uh, if you like the video just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'm creating more and more tutorials around Figma in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and happy learning. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.